Hey scientific audience, so let's solve problem 1.16. It is connected with problem 1.15 in which there was a square which was given and it was along yz plane. The square was aligned in yz plane in problem number 1.15. Now instead we have a cube whose faces are like this and this is x axis and in problem number 1.15 it was given that the electric field was uniform that means lines are parallel and electric field was given as the value 3 into 10 raised to 3 i cap newton per coulomb so uniform electric field all electric field lines are parallel now guys we know that uh, suppose if we have uh, the observers observer i over here then this area a b c d its area vector would be perpendicular to this area a b c d square a b c d and electric field is inside so look at the electric field and area vector direction the angle between electric field and area vector is 180 degree so the flux which is entering will be e a cos 180 which is minus 1 so that will be equal to minus e a this is the flux which is entering and when the observers i are over here the area vector would be let me call this a b c d then e f g h e f g and h so these are our only two faces which are responsible for the contribution of flux whereas the other four sides of the square of the cube sorry are not going to participate in the uh, contribution to the flux because flux is e dot a e a cos theta where in other four cases like in say a b e f the area vector would be like this area vector is always perpendicular to the area and electric field is perpendicular so anyhow the flux would be zero because ea cos 90. so here electric field and area vector have angle zero degree so the flux leaving let me write it over here flux leaving shall be equal to e a cos zero which is plus one now if i find the total flux which is entering and leaving some because flux is a scalar quantity so we directly need to add it up entering plus flux leaving that is equal to minus ea plus ea our answer is zero now the short trick is guys whenever the electric field lines coming in is equal to electric field lines coming out the net flux is always zero 